What's going on guys, Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, we have a new project on our hands. Robbie's very unique build. So the 40 terabyte beast of a bar top build that's going out to California to Eugene is officially done. We made the deal with a guy off of Uship. Basically, Uship is a bunch of delivery guys that kind of work for themselves. Made the deal, somebody's gonna come in in a couple of days, pick up that bar top right there. It's gonna never leave his truck. It's gonna go right from New York straight to California to Eugene in his hand. So unfortunately, the door to the beautiful 40 terabyte beast of an arcade bar top closes, but now a new door opens and we have Robbie's very unique build coming up. So yes, I build arcades, yes, I build uprights and we're doing all the arcade stuff, but I've always had this kind of vision on my mind and I, an idea on my mind that I never really executed it. But coincidentally, I did have a customer by the name of Robbie, another person from California. I'm getting popular in California. Um, basically, he had the same vision that I had. Basically, we're looking at a, I believe I could be wrong, we're gonna unbox it right now, but I believe it's a 32 terabyte PC build. Very unique. Basically, this is gonna be mostly a console version, meaning we're gonna have a PC in a case, you're gonna plug it into an HDMI TV and game on with emulation. So I've always wanted to do this. Um, I have a couple ideas in mind for it, but Robbie had some really cool ideas and we're executing it on it right now with this build. So real quick, quick backstory on Robbie. Robbie again from California. He does have a YouTube channel. It is called A Very Heavy Agenda. So definitely give him a like, subscribe, and follow for it. Pretty cool idea. He actually plays classic games, arcade games, and all that while talking politics. So pretty awesome stuff. I'm not really into politics, but a customer is a customer. I really hope you enjoy it. So we basically have right now Robbie, you know, basically said to me, hey Vic, can you send me the links for what PC stuff I need? He found actually two very unique sized terabyte uh, drives. I believe there are 18 terabytes. Um, we basically been communicating for the past, I would say month. And he purchased everything, sent them everything through PC part picker. He got all the stuff on discount and everything on, you know, sale. And we are now going to unbox the next journey, which is Robbie's unique build. So. Without further ado, we're gonna check it out. I always like to unbox packages with the camera. Let me make sure my camera is in focus and you can see the packages. <laughs> always gonna make sure I'm in focus. So um, again, what was I going with that? Oh, so again, I always do like to unbox the um, packages on camera because you never know if something moved during transit or if a customer forgot something, so I always like to unbox it. Just like what we did for Eugene, we're doing the same thing for Robbie. So we got two packages, fairly light packages. Um, I'm gonna put this one down, just for now. And Robbie gave me a heads up, basically he has all the PC parts, and again, a couple of unique things on this build. He definitely does not want Xbox controllers, he wants PlayStation controllers. So that's gonna be a challenge on my end, um, we're gonna definitely try to get that working with the Bluetooth on the motherboard. Um, and he also sent me, I believe, the Nintendo Switch arcade stick. Um, a lot of stuff, you guys are gonna see, it's gonna be a lot of stuff. So I'll talk and unbox. This looks like just the PC case. And it's upside down. Very cool. So the first thing we do have is the actual PC case. Um, not too sure if Robbie already opened it, but it's always good to see because the big thing about this case was that it was supposed to have a handle on it. Big thing right now is that we, oh, it is, I see it. Wow, look at that. So you literally have handles on the side. Um, again, his idea was to make it a console version and he did want it like portable. So very actually unique design. This does have handles on it. Nicely hidden. Nice case. Big thing right now is I just wanna make sure that nothing broke in transit. This does have a piece of glass on it. It is still intact. So Robbie, you are good to go on this. Beautiful case. Wow. 
My personal um, version was gonna be a smaller one, but I mean, again, when you're talking 40 terabytes or 32 terabytes, you can't really fit it in a compact space. So this right here, this is a solid case. Wow. A Rex Gear 2, very nice case. Got a little bit of a manual inside of it, so that is A-OK. -okay. We are right now gonna make sure that we don't scuff this up. So, it's gonna go right in the bag. And, well, actually, before I do that, I gotta send them pictures. <laughs> so, send them the pictures. Looks good so far. Awesome case. I believe they also had this in white. Very nice case, very cool. So right now, again, my objective for tonight is to definitely at least unbox the motherboard and like put the PC together. Um, maybe outside of the case for now. But for right now, we're gonna put this back in the wrapping. And what's gonna be unique about this is that basically I'm gonna ship it back to him in the same box, but with the PC inside of it. So, so far so good. Wow, those handles, they're really convenient. <laughs> so I'm guessing that he has everything I need inside of this box, which again, I never really just cut into boxes. I might need to use this box because again, he has a lot of stuff such as, I believe there is a Nintendo Switch arcade stick in here. So I'm gonna most likely ship it back to him with this box. So we wanna be kind of careful. Got a little pack of material. So now, cool. First thing up, we do have one PS4 controller. Next thing up, we got the second PS4 controller. So again, I've personally never done PlayStation controllers on a Windows build. I've read that you do need a USB stick. I'm not sure if he got it, but I will be definitely trying to connect this with the Bluetooth on the actual um, motherboard. So that's gonna be his source. We're gonna be using basically the PlayStation 4 controllers for most, if not all, emulators. And then a couple of games he does have that he wants arcade sticks set up and all that. Next up, we do have the next challenge, which is the Mayflash bars. So we are looking at the Wiimote on this one using the real Mayflash Dolphin bars on this. Cool. Next up, we do have the Core i7 he went with. Awesome stuff. I did send him the i5, but he did go i7, 9700K, so that is overclockable. We have a one terabyte Samsung Evo M.2 SSD. And let's see what else we got. Take a bleed. Yes, 16 gigs of RAM, 3600, awesome stuff for that. So we got the RAM sticks, got the i7, and he also did get the DualShock. I'm not gonna open this box though. We will definitely try to get these working off of the Bluetooth, but worst case, he did get the USB dongle on that. Whew, I'm gonna have to take the box out. <laughs> now in all honesty, I sent him links that matched the 40 terabyte beast because it was a beautiful pc it was flawless i love it so we're mostly going to see the same exact kind of stuff that eugene had all right next up we do have the 1660 super msi that's the graphics card awesome stuff and yes we do have the same exact motherboard with eugene so again i sent him basically a pc part picker list he basically, you could see it, like you could actually see the motherboard, it's all very cleanly broken down. Got the prices and everything, it actually finds the cheapest one, like if compared to Amazon or Newegg. So we got our motherboard. We got our low profile fan. You definitely seen this on Eugene's build. So again, shout out to Eugene because as you could see, we are basically gonna be using your PC as our mentor for everything. Next up, we got the thermal take. This one is an 850 watt power supply. So we got our power supply, that is good. This is gonna be our big challenge right here is the Wiimote. So again, we do have the May flash bar. We will be doing basically all of the gun games using actual Wiimotes. And I did make sure, and I told Robbie to make sure that they were real Wiimotes and they look like they are. So I don't need to unbox this just yet. But we do have two Wiimotes on this with the nunchuck. So I'm gonna leave this inside the box. I'm actually gonna, yep, good. 
Last but not least, I do believe in this box is going to be the two hard drives, which I believe, again, were 18 terabytes or 16 terabytes? Mm, 18, 18 terabytes. So this build is gonna clock in at 37 terabytes. We have two 18 terabytes, that is 36. And we have the one M.2 slot SSD that's gonna be our boot drive. And we have some room for games on that too. So yes, just to show you real quick, they came in good packaging, Rob, so no need to worry. Again, we got Western Digital 18 terabyte on this. Awesome, very cool. Yep. So we have both 18 terabytes. The only thing I'm gonna message Robbie was that there was supposed to be, I believe, a Nintendo Switch arcade stick. I don't see it, but it is a-okay. I'm gonna send all the pictures to Robbie right now with this stuff, and we basically get ready to build a PC. So stay tuned, Robbie's 37 terabyte build is in effect.